Hey, I'm Pat. Welcome to Daily Devo. Today we're going to talk about doubts. He had the dimensions of his cell memorized. Four steps, turn right, four steps, turn right, four steps. He doubted and he hated himself for it. So he called some of his followers in and he said, I want you to go find this Jesus and ask him, are you the one? This is John the Baptist sitting in a cell awaiting what will certainly be death for him. And he's doubting. And so he sends some of his followers to find Jesus who's out teaching and ask Jesus, are you the one? Now remember, John is the guy who said, behold the Lamb of God, who said, this is the long-awaited Messiah. But now he's doubting. So these followers of John get to Jesus, who has a large crowd there, and they interrupt Jesus as he's talking to this crowd, and they say, John wants to know if you're the one. So we pick it up in, in John, or in Luke chapter 7, verse 22. In Luke chapter 7, verse 22, then he told John's disciples. Jesus looks at these men who came and said, are, John wants to know, are you the one? Listen to what he says. Go back to John and tell him what you've seen and heard. That the blind see, the lame walk, those with leprosy are cured, the deaf hear, the dead are raised to life, and the good news is being preached to the poor. And he added, God blesses those who do not fall away because of me. Uh, Jesus is quoting basically a passage from the book of Isaiah. So in many ways he's saying, you just go tell John that what the prophet spoke about 700 years before, it's happening. But it's what happens next that I want to focus on today. L look at verse 24. John's followers leave to go take this message to John. Jesus now turns to the crowd. Verse 24, after John's disciples left, Jesus began talking about him to the crowds. Now, you might think this is the time for Jesus to tell the crowds, don't doubt like John. You might think that Jesus tells the crowds to, to hold fast, to stay strong, to have courage. Don't waver like John. But that's not what Jesus does. Instead, he defends John. Let me keep reading verse 24. Jesus says to the crowds, what kind of man did you go into the wilderness to see? He's talking about John the Baptist. Was he a weak reed swayed by every breath of wind? Jesus defends John. In the midst of John's struggles and doubts, Jesus defends him. It's as if he's saying to you and me all these years later that he understands that at times we're going to have doubts. He understands that we're going to struggle at times. He understands that, that we'll sometimes wrestle with truth. And God is bigger than all of that. In fact, John becomes a great example of what to do with our doubts and fears and questions. What did John do? He brought him to Jesus. John doubted, and he called some of his friends, and he said, go to Jesus. You see, Jesus actually wants to meet you and me in the midst of our doubts, in the midst of our fears, in the midst of our struggles. Let me say that again so you get it. Jesus actually wants to meet you in the midst of your struggles and fears and doubts. I don't know about you, but I often find myself resonating with the guy who came to Jesus later in the life of Jesus. This guy who came to Jesus and said, I believe, help me with my unbelief. <laughs> Doesn't that sum up our lives sometimes? And Jesus is saying to you and me, that's okay. I'll take it. Just bring it to me.